Good morning, ladies. Friday morning, it's a really great day. Good day in the office for us, and um, and we've done 10% off for Trinity London, and it's, it's you know, it was so difficult for us to make that decision, and you, you're all going mad, which is wonderful. Um, so uh, I hope you're getting lots of bargains today. I went on to Zara, and I got a green puffer I really wanted as well, 20% off. Um, and I just got back from Biologique Recharge Facial uh, at, um, at the embassy, uh, location in Kenchurch Street, number three Kenchurch Street. And um, I had a lovely lady, Dominica, this is my skin after. And it, it feels, it feels very good. She did a really interesting massage technique on me. Uh, would I recommend it to go? I think if you are comfortable lying somewhere for an hour and a bit to have a lovely facial, she's very, very good. For me, I probably could do everything she did at home apart from the sort of gal galvanic machine. But um, what's really interesting is what, sometimes when I have a facial, I don't have them often. I usually have more treatments. Um, my skin feels quite sort of, you know, they plaster it with product. And even though they put probably about five or six products on my skin, I don't feel my, I feel my skin is toned more than hydrated, which is interesting, but it feels firm and I've got no makeup on. I feel there's some life in the skin. And now I'm gonna put some makeup on. I'm dressed down Friday today. Look, jeans and a jumper. It's quite nice to do dress down Friday because all week I've been in the taxi and I've been wearing all my outfits, you know, to kind of um, wow the people inside, you know, because they, they have a certain expectation of what I'll wear. So for me just to wear a jumper is really nice. My hair is so, my hair is, growing very quickly. I'm back on the biotin, the superior hair and something else and it's really growing quickly. I'm going to have my colour done today and many of you have asked about my colour and um, wanted to uh, know what colour I use and everything. So I'm going to be at about 3.45, sitting down 3.30, 3.45 and I might do a live on Facebook or Instagram. I might do a live on Instagram actually, I don't know, or Facebook. I'll think about it. But just look out for it because you could ask my really good colorist some questions about color and um, we could even get some people in on a live if we do on Instagram, but then we can't save it. Let me think of how I can do that. Uh, but I think, you know, many of you ask about my hair color and it, as you can tell, it is very gray um, all around here. It's probably 80% gray and then back here, there's not much gray, I can't even see. You're gonna have a look for me, but I don't think there's much gray there or much gray there. I'm looking on the back of the mirror. So today, what am I gonna do? Yesterday, I did my no makeup makeup look and I sort of feel I want to do that again today. And I'm just going to, for those of you who might have missed it, I'm just gonna show you something that this lovely woman um, who came in our cab this week showed me for under eye. So I'm gonna put very little foundation on because my skin is looking all right. I've just put BFF light medium, um, like that there, just to give that glow back. And then I'm going to do, I'm gonna do the little treatment, not treatment, but I'm gonna do the eye technique that she did on me, which I really liked and it was weird. I'm going to start, I've got two concealers now, foundation concealer, I've got Liv, which is way too dark for me and I've got Trintron. So I'm gonna take Liv, which has, for me, in a way, some apricotness, and then I'm just going to put it under my eye, and this will just take out the blue. So you can see it's really dark there, but it masks the blue tiredness, like that, there. So then I, you've gotta put foundation, your right color, on top of this idea. But pat, 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 pat. By the way, you know what opened today? Phoenix! in Bond Street and Brain Cross is open too. So if you are somebody, I'm now gonna put Trintron on just a touch. If you're somebody who would like to go to a location to find Trini London, you can um, go, you can go on, um, on the site, you can book an appointment for Phoenix Bond Street or Brain Cross or Newcastle. We are there permanently, it's so exciting. I'm gonna go and see it today. I'm really excited. And next week we have masterclasses at Brain Cross and Bond Street. So if you would like to book a masterclass, you look, my eyes, brilliant. Um, if you'd like to book a masterclass, then go online, trinilondon.com, visit us, and you can see all the different Fennec locations, and you can book. But I'm so excited. 
I really am. It's just, it's fantastic. It's when you have an online brand, see it visually in a store, when you know it's just going to be there, is, is exciting. Very exciting. Do I need anything else anywhere? Can I leave it on my chin? Okay, that's that. Now, let me just talk you through, not coming out till Tuesday, but I'm just so excited. <laughs> Can I be more excited? Miracle Blur is coming out on Tuesday. Now, let me just give you a heads up. We might do, by the way, pre-ordering on Monday. So do be the first, because you've only ordered a certain amount, so you have to look on Monday and Tuesday. I'm trying to set up pre-ordering on Monday, but um, it's basically, looks like face finish, but it's this cushiony sort of secret fabulousness. It contains pepsides, vitamins, green extracts, but the most important thing is what's it gonna do feel like? So there, I have lines. So I'm gonna put that on like that. There. And it just blurs everything. It is exactly what it says on the packet. It took a long time for us to get this formula right because you don't want it to show on the skin. You want it to immediately absorb. You don't want it to dry out the skin. You don't want it to give shine to the skin, but you want it slightly to hydrate the skin. Lots of things that have to go into this formula. But we're there and we're launching Tuesday. I have here results of acne. So I just put that on there and it blurs that. Lovely Lulu in the office has a few um, scars that are indents. So you can literally take some, like I have it, I'll show you here. Let me just put my glasses on. New glasses, so everything's still on them. But if you just look here and I just what's on there, it's like you pat it on and it would just go into the area, which is an indent, like that. There. Look, so exciting, it's so exciting. And I hope, I hope you're all enjoying Rocket Man, by the way, because they're such beautiful colors. Um, there, so that's one side there, and that's the other side there. Good, hey, good, hey, exciting. Okay, I'll just do the other side like that. There. And here. Underneath. Where I got open, slightly more open pores. So, the difference between this and face finish, just to give you an idea. Face finish are wonderful mattifier you put on where you're a bit shiny and it's a much harder texture. So here, if I didn't want all that shine, I put face finish on and it just slightly mattifies without taking away that healthy glow like that. It's such a beautiful product, face finish. Do you see? There, and then I usually actually do it a bit under the eye because if I've used the BFF quite a lot, I don't want light reflection right there, but I do want it there. So then I might just do here, like that, there. See, there we go. Now skin is looking good. I'm loving that under eye. Um, and another thing, I want to do everything she did again on me, but I'm just going to do some, a few different things. Let me take some of your questions, ladies. Such a lovely morning today. Okay, um, good morning, good morning. Can I use it around the eye area? Yes, okay, let me just show you around the eye area. Hang on a second. It's fantastic everywhere. So, okay, I know. you've got little things there. So you just tap, tap it in, and it just softens wrinkles. Tuesday, ladies. Maybe you might be able to pre order on Monday. Let me even up the other side. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm now going to do a little bit of, a little bit of, I might do some Freddy's Day. What am I going to do? Something for the, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some chalice. I'm going to do some chat. God, I'm in such a good mood today. I'm really just feeling tremendously happy and excited. Mystery. Oh, I might do mystery. Actually, I'm going to do mystery. Mystery is such a pretty color. So Mystery is one of our new Rocket Man shades. I'm just gonna tap back and forth. It's like wisdom on steroids. 
There you go. Mystery. So pretty. Very nice for so many coloured eyes and your mixture of skin, hair and I think this is one that many people have in their match to me. There. And then I might, if I have it here, I want to put it on some cherry. Do I have it? Can I put it? Do I have it? Can I put it? Chalice! Chalice! Which is the sort of lavender colour, but because I'm wearing blue today, I'm tempted to put it on with it. So I'm just going to do a wash. You know me in a wash, it doesn't always wash. So. And then just go back and forth. It's pretty. And then that side. Just use your finger, it's so easy with our products to use your finger. There, like that. I usually go over here, my brow bone a little bit, just to open up my eye. There, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of Talika Eyelash Conditioning Gel, just to, let me just see if that's all right there. Yeah, that's fine, that's just a little bit of color. Then I'm going to just put on some Talika. Like that and then just clean my brows up I could do a bit more on my brow but I just no I'm gonna leave it like that I'm doing minimalist look today and then I might just do what should I do with that what would you like to see that's always a good idea isn't it too um, what would you like to see you can tell me what you'd like to see um, where can you buy it? You can buy it at trinilondon.com. Do you put, do you have to put the foundation over the Miracle Blur? No, I do my whole face and I put the Miracle Blur as the last thing. That's very important. Face finish you can put on before. So if you have an oily skin, you put face finish in your T-zone, then you can put your BFF and foundation. But Miracle Blur you put as the last thing or on its own. Um, it's pretty amazing. I, yes, uh, in large pores, I would recommend Miracle Blur coming out. You're homesick. Cross, I hope you get better. Am I shopping at the Zara Black Friday sales today? No, but I did a Zara shop up for Black Friday stuff and it's on the blog, trinilun.com, tea time blog. Go and look at it there. Um, uh, yes, get well. How sweet, blue, blue eyed bird. I've got it now, right, haven't I? Bloody bird, blue eyed bird. How am I finding the new brows? I'm quite liking them. Um, they're still, because I haven't had lovely Nisha for a while. And generally, if I hadn't had Nisha for three weeks, I would feel my eyebrows need a bit more of a tint, but I'm feeling they hold their own now. I didn't have many brows done, but I, I would recommend it to do it again. What do you use to make up your face so fresh before your makeup, just a primer or BB, what do you recommend? I used our BFF. Oh dear, I'm dropping everything. So I'll show you what the BFF does. I'm gonna do one hand and not the other. I've got hardly any left. What's that, light medium? So that's one hand and that's the other hand. So when you rub it in, it will become the color of your skin. It will give it a little bit of hydration. It has extract of porcelain flour, which will help with any redness. Um, and it's got SPF 30 and it has um, crushed up pearl that give you a very gentle glow. So look at that hand. And look at that hand. Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference? So look at there, and look at there. It just softens, it just, and that's what happens on the face. It just softens everything. Um, how old am I? I'm 54. Can't wait for the Miracle Blur, fantastic. Trini, you should have a tall, dark, handsome, rich man in your life. You're very pretty, you're very sweet. I have my darling um, best friend, um, Charles, and I'm very happy. Um, and um, yes, so that's that. Uh, Blue eyed bird, can you please sell some of your energy bottle? Ladies, you know, oh, oh, by the way, also, sorry. I, you know, energy is about, let me get that bloody stick on. Passion for life. And also, if you've woken up this morning and you've thought, I just feel blah, because there are times when I've been on here and I felt blah and, um, and sometimes just chatting, we can feel better because we can isolate ourselves in our head and we can make the story that's going around our head 100 times worse than the reality. And some, a man in my life once said to me, 90% of everything you worry about never ever happens. And I think what makes us stressed is worry. And sometimes you've got to play the movie forward and say, what I think I might happen, <gasps> is it really gonna happen? Uh, there are days I will feel stressed and I will feel blue and I will feel down, but 
I will try and give myself that energy. And I talked two days ago about meditation, which I haven't done enough of, guided meditation, but there's a lovely man in my life who does that. And I'm thinking, how many of you would find this weird, okay? How many of you would like, if I did a guided meditation with Shabir, not with Shabir, um, Sanjay, sorry, with Sanjay, that, that I just do it live on Instagram and you do it with me. So if you think you would love to do that, would you be happy to do it at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. or 9 a.m.? Are you the kind of women who want to do it before you go to work or deal with your kids? Or would you like to do it at a sort of 10 a.m.? And that's going to be for one set of women. And then we maybe could do another one on a sort of Monday evening. But I think it's going to be weird. But Sanjay is the most amazing man to do guided meditation. And... We can do one for energy, and he does them with me for energy, so I can ask him to do his energy one. Uh, and if anybody would like that, tell me times you'd like to do it, and then I'll choose the most popular time. But uh, then you can record it. And the great thing about Sanjay is I have his recordings on my phone, and in times when I'm really feeling like nothing's gonna lift me up, I'll listen to his recordings, and they really help, and they're very personal to me. But we can do a general one with him, but it's he doesn't do that kind of stuff of like, Close your eyes and look into a candle and imagine it's light and imagine this and you're by the seashore and the waves are going over. It's none of that. It's something very different. <laughs> look at the chalice, how blue it makes my eyes. Love it. Um, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, any tips, any tips for eye colour for hooded eyes? I have faith and mystery arriving today. Faith and mystery. I'm Okay, you've got faith and mystery. Let me just go back to... Du -du 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 okay, so here's how I put on mystery. So if you had faith and mystery, I've got chalice on too. But I would sort of, if you have a hooded eye, it's doing that. So you want, I kind of like to lift a bit of the color up so that it will go over the hooded eye because a hooded eye can eat all the color that's in there. So sometimes it's pointless putting the color in there and you want to open up your eye and I, I think that's better. And, and over the years we can have got to a stage where we just do our eye makeup a certain way but our eyes have changed shape, which obviously you're noticing and you want to have a different solution. So um, just try and do a bit up there. This afternoon on Trini London Instagram and Facebook, we're going to do all the new eye shades and we've got a few different women in the office and some have hooded eyes. So you could watch that too and see all the new colors, which would be lovely. So that would be at about, I don't know, ladies, maybe one o'clock. Um, no need for makeup. I'm sure you don't need it. Um, <laughs> it does make me look better, I have to tell you. It really does. Eugenie Lip Glow. Eugenie is a lip lux, um, and it's a lovely... Oh, you want to see Eugenie on? Okay, I can put Eugenie on. Sorry, I just understood that now. Let me go to a bit of Eugenie. All right, Eugenie on its own, I'll show you. Eugenie on its own, for me, can be a little pale, but we'll just do it. I'll just show you here. It's actually quite nice. Good idea. Yeah. There. It's like a nude. When you do a nude, ladies, never go lighter than your pigment of your lip because it just doesn't look natural. And I know there's been a real trend of nude with kind of uh, a darker eye, but just be aware of that. It's very, very important when you do makeup. So now I'm putting that over that miracle blur. I feel much better about my lips. There. There. It is a pretty colour. It's a very pretty colour and if you have Eugenie, you can then darken it up or, or change its direction by putting Lila on it or by putting Maddie on it, depending on what's in your match to me. So for me, I'm just going to put Lila on it and show you what it does with Lila. It just brings it to a more apricot place. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the residue that's on my finger now of Lila and Eugenie and I'm just going to put it on my cheeks. Like that. There. You've helped me do a lovely makeup, ladies. Thank you. There we go. And I'm done. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's great. You helped me decide what to put on. Um, I love how you say our products. Well, they are our products. They're our products. What type of facial did you have there? I had, I think there's only one type of facial there. It's the kind of, you know, where they use everything facial. 
My skin is probably looking good. I just have been rushing today, so I didn't look properly. Um, and what's best foundation for sensitive skin? I've got to say, use just a touch because it's so, there's no fragrance in it. There's nothing that's going to upset your skin. And it goes on, I'm just trying to get you one now so I can just show you something. Um, hang on, because they're all here. And then I've just, yes. And it just goes on like a dream. Um, holy horses, why have I suddenly lost my foundation? Yeah, so this is just a touch. But when you have sensitive skin, you, you know, don't use anything which might have things in it that are going to upset your skin. Definitely go for sort of no fragrance. And then you just blend it where you need it like that. But it is very, very good. Uh, it's the best to me. Am I right? No, I'm not telling you. Um, okay. You should be right. Have you tried Organic Pharmacy non-surgical facelift facial? I haven't, and I haven't tried their vitamin C. I loved Organic Pharmacy. I just haven't used it, actually, for a few years. There was one quite near to where I live on the King's Road, and I love what they do, but I just haven't, I haven't had the chance. Maybe I should go back and revisit it. I'm going to do for a secret seven my favorite natural brands in a couple of weeks. Um, they wouldn't be on my top seven, but I haven't seen their products for a while, so I must go and have a look again. Um, ah, best lip and eye color for green eyes. Um, best lip and eye color for green eyes depends on your skin, hair and eye. I would say you need to go and do match to me and then it will show you which ones work really well. Um, where do you get the micro needling roller? There's many different micro needle rollers. I have here, what have I got here? I've got a few, let me show you some. So, I've got lots and they're all good. Derma Roller, this one, is probably okay, but it's my least favorite because it just is like 0.2. It's very low for me, but if you're starting, that could be good. Nanette de Gasp, I love because she has 400 on her 0.5 needle, so you really feel it, but still do light feathering motions. It will help to tell your skin to wake up. Uh, Glam Glow Pro, there, they have a red light with theirs. And if you have a spot, it's unbelievably good because I sometimes, I haven't had spots for a while actually, but I was having a few menopausal spots. And I would just sit in front of the telly and gently do this with the red light for 10 minutes on a spot. Tell you, it worked a treat. Um, and then I also like Swiss Clinic, which I think this one is. I don't want to give it the wrong name. I don't know, I'm not sure. That could be Swiss Clinic. Those are the ones. Those are generally the ones I like. You can go onto Amazon and you can just find one. The most important thing is they must be titanium. That's very important. Um, Miracle Blurs. Out officially on Tuesday. We might do pre-orders on Monday. We're still working on the content. So you just have to, um, Kane, big energy cutting for me. Thank you. Um, that's so sweet. You can feel it. I know I'm really, I'm feeling it. That energy ball, you know, just feel it. Like when you're feeling flat, there's a thing of, you know, he, um, um, Sanjay does this with me, but you feel this ball like this and feel the physical energy. And when you keep doing that, feeling your tips of your fingers will begin to have some energy in them. And, and if you can get to a stage where you think, feel the energy, really feel it, because around us, everything is bloody energy and we can get our hands on it. It's free, ladies and boys, it's free. Just feel it. Take that energy ball around, feel it, feel every side of it. It's so pulsating that my fingers are tingling. Feel that ball, feel that ball. Put the ball inside you, put it inside you, feel it inside you. Um, okay, ladies, I'm going off on a tangent now, aren't I? Um, 8 a.m., 7 a.m., 7 a.m., 9 or 10, 9. Okay, I'm gonna take the ones that are most, um, uh, well, I just said seven, 9 or 10 a.m., that's what I said, okay? But I just want to get a feel. I might do more than one, but I just want to know, would you like it? It seems a weird thing that we just all listen and we're quiet, but that would be new here, wouldn't it? Um, that would be really new. Um, I never get to see those lives, but I'm working from home today, but I always watch them later when I'm getting ready for bed, doing my nighttime routine, the Liz life. That's so lovely. Hello. Um, welcome for the live. Um, a live meditation will be awesome. So glad I caught your live. I bought Mystery Chalice of Faith. You girl, go girl, darling. They are gorgeous colors. They really are divine. We're so excited to have them. Um, so excited because, you know, we only have 12 eye shades. And then in the spring, we're going to have another four. 
Um, so it's all good. 9 a.m. for another Aussie-based English too, please. All right, well, we can, we'll think about these times and we'll, maybe we'll do one and then you can always listen to it later for the ladies who don't catch it because even though it's something that's nice to go live, what I'll also do is put it on the blog. So those of you who can't join us live can put it on the blog. And I think what we'll do with the live one, I'm really warming up this idea. What we'll do with the live one is we'll do the live and then we'll get some feedback from from uh, Sanjay on how to do it at home. I think that would be great. Um, there we go. All right. When will Maddie be in stock? I don't know, it's a killer. It's a killer, it's not in stock. We've just had a real run on sales and um, it's exciting for us because we're having so many sales right now, but we didn't expect there would be this many sales at this time in, our, in, our, in, in the history of Trinity London. So they just ran out too quickly, but we are working on it. We are so, I mean, every day I wake up and I say, Teresa, Claire, Federica, where are we at? Because it's kind of like, I can't bear things, I have to stop for you. Um, what about a touch of Dahlia on my lips? Oh, that would have been very nice. I'll do that another time. Salt Biggie 40, good moisturizer. I'll go on to Trini London Tea Time. I'll have my Secret 7 moisturizers there. Have a look, see which one and which one you feel fits in with your skin. That's the best advice I could give you. Um, I put on a tiny bit of foundation. What's the best thing for puffiness under the eyes? I would say, darling, lymphatic drainage because, you know, you want to kind of drain your skin. And there's three things. If you eat ice cream or dairy at night, it's going to make you puffy. If you sleep too flat, it will be puffy. Um, and if you don't lymphatically drain. So on Sunday, Shabir is in the, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. We're talking all about the lymphatic system. I'm very excited because I don't know enough about this whole incredible network that goes around our body and, and gets rid of our toxins. And a lot of what we'll talk about on Sunday is things to help your lymph system work at its optimum level and what you can be doing to do that. That will ultimately help with puffiness because puffiness is toxin sitting there, which the lymph node is not managing to the lymph vessels, it's not managing to get rid of. Um, you lost one of your lip goes devastated. <sighs> Blue eyed man, I'm devastated for you. Which one are you going to buy next? Um, so <laughs> I've really gone mad. My jumper is Celine. Uh, it's a real kind of casual jumper, but it is actually unbelievably warm and I love it. It was a big treat for me to get it. Uh, and the color I love, obviously, more than anything. Um, would Thea go over Eugenie also beautifully? If I'm doing a smoky eye, I would put Eugenie with Thea on top. Um, just ordered Chalice, can't wait for it. Have you tried any of the Drunk Elephant products? I've tried the Subaku, um, kind of uh, acidy thing with the oil, which I love. I tried the vitamin C, which I love, not as much as SkinCeuticals, but I love it. What I really love is this, which I keep grabbing to, which is their polypeptide cream. Gorgeous day cream, really gorgeous. I don't know if it's a day cream, but it's a gorgeous cream and I use it during the day. Um, can cool skin tones wear peachy makeup? I think it, first of all, it's really important to work out you might classify yourself as a cool skin tone, but I think that being cool, neutral, or warm is not just about your skin tone because you could have a caramel skin, very cool hair and a very cool brown eye, and then you are cool. So just if you feel your skin is, if you feel your skin is warmer, like pinky, that not necessarily is warmer because you can have a pale skin with a pink tones to it, but you could have a very clear blue eye and uh, very cool blonde hair, and then you're, you're sitting cool. So it's difficult for me to answer that question until I would know your skin, hair, and eye. Um, just received my Just a Touch and Love It perfect match to my skin tone. Thank you, Kiwi, that's really lovely to hear. How do I cover red veins on the lids lash line, but don't want to use Justice as a bit shimmery? Looking for true no makeup look. I mean, I have to say to you that Justice, I'm just going to show you this, but Justice has absolutely no shimmer in it. Oh my God, I've got something else on top of it. Um, so I'm wondering, I'm wondering if you are using Justice because I'll show you Justice now. It's so putty nude and there is no shimmer because there's Justice, look, hang on. It is the most beautiful nude you see there. It's very matte. You need so little there. 
just don't know what you mean by shimmer. There it is. Do you see? Depends on your eye colour. It's for, uh, if you've got it in your match to me as a sort of neutral eye, that is the best neutral eye. Face, which is a new one, which also has no shimmer. You could do a wash of, but it's brown. So let me just see if I've got faith here so I can show you. It's very bad if I haven't got all the colours here. Let me just see if I've got faith. Hold on. No, I haven't got faith. What a bore that I don't have. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I can show you faith. But this, I think for the colours you are, this is like a brown. But this is very neutral. So if you did this really light and did that, you could get the gentlest bit of colour and then blend, blend, blend. So I'm blending it to be a little bit more, but it is that very, just like a shade, a, a shadow, you know, if you, um, yeah, that, that's what I'd say. If you want something to cover, sorry, I just remembered you said about your um, spider veins. I would use a tiny bit of just a touch, really small, small bit, and that would work. Um, my 14 year old daughter has started getting small spots on the back of her neck. How should we treat them? So Vicky, 31st Stage is a wonderful brand that does teenage acne. And it was started for a woman, it was started by a woman whose son's had acne. It's really great. My daughter uses it and she loves it. It has four or five products to it. There's some cleansing pads, there's a tonery thing. Um, I think it's fantastic. If you're a very organic driven mum, you could do Louis, L-U-I, and there's, it's a brand which you can get at Content Beauty. And it was started by an American LA based dermatologist and she had her clients, teenage kids having acne. So she developed that for them. And there's a rollable thing, which is a kind of alternative to salicylic acid to kind of put on topically on each spot. And there's a cleanser and there's a toner. It's very, very nice. Um, have done much to me and still don't know which just touched shoes on. From the love of Luby, darling, I'm sorry. That's tough. Um, I would say if you live in London, you could go to Fenwick, Bond Street or Brent Cross. I don't know where you live. Many women do do it and they get it. But if you are thinking just touch, I, um, match to me is not working, you could go to the Trini Tribe. On the Trini Tribe now, can I just say, we have 68 models. I'm so excited we have this many women. And they vary in age. We just put Anna up, who's, um, who's, God, how old is Anna now? 17, 17, 18, nearly. Uh, and she's our youngest model. And then we are going to put up the, a lady who's 83 in a minute too. So, so, but they all have different skin, hair and eye and you can look at their essentials and see actually I'm really like that woman and do your match to me and then compare it with somebody on the Trinity Tribe and see what foundation they wear. And if they match, then you think actually that is helping to reinforce my belief I could be that skin tone. That, that would be my choice. Uh, of suggestions. Any eyelines in your plans? Watch this space. Um, watch this space. Watch this space. There's things happening. Um, okay, 9 a.m. <laughs> it would be great. Evening, please. I mean, we all have different things, don't we? Um, okay, ladies. I think I've got to go now. I've got to go and do some proper work and I've got to go and get all the things ready for Miracle Blur's launch next week, um, which I'm so excited about. Um, I th uh, Jules, thank you so much for that comment. Our eye makeup does stay on all day and you know, it's a joy for me that women can put something on which they can look like they've got a 20 minute eye somebody's done in the store by themselves in two minutes and then at eight in the evening, it's there, it's still there. So it's very exciting. Um, morning school rush is a bit manic. I know I agree with that. Could I still be able to use DCL Nightscape vitamin C and vitamin C in the morning? I do. Um, you might want to see how your skin develops and how sensitive your skin is. So don't go bang into it. Maybe just gently start every other day and build it into your routine. But for me, vitamin C is such a huge part of my skincare routine. And those are two of my favorites. So I do put DCL on at night and I put CE Ferulic or Garden of Wisdom I'm using at the moment in the morning, which is a fantastic nine pound vitamin C. Um, uh, best makeup remover. I use a cleansing balm to remove my makeup. Uh, so you know, at the moment I'm using Ilia, such a great, beautiful cleanser, organic. And then I use a second cleanse, I use Jan Marini. So I take my makeup off with Ilia and then I use um, Jan Marini, uh, not Jan Marini, Julia Hunter um, product, which I always talk about. Um, eyeliner. What do you recommend to apply after microneedling? I'd say because you're doing microneedling, 
You've opened up your skin to receive its most active ingredients. And what it will mean is the active things you normally do are gonna work that much better. So I think to do microneedling and then just put on a moisturizer will make that hydration go in further. But it's an opportunity for your skin to really receive great vitamin C, interesting retinols, lovely peptides. And I would then use that so you get the full benefit of those products because they will really literally work twice as well if you've done some microneedling. But start gently um, because it's, uh, you know, something you need to get your skin used to. So everything in moderation. Um, what skin skeutals vitamin C, please? CE Ferulic is the one I use. Um, did I receive the Kate McClear secret weapon facial oil I sent you a couple of weeks back now? Was really hoping you'd look into it, especially as it's so amazing and the story behind it's no words. Um, Kate McCleaver secret, I don't know, I will look. There's a box which Myco keeps things that people send us and I dip into it occasionally. I generally like to discover things myself, but people do somehow find my address out and send me things. So if it's in there, I'll make a note to see it and have a look. Um, but I'm always interested in new things and sometimes I don't get to see everything when I go out and about because I, I haven't had so much time to do that recently. Um, hello from Australia. Hello, Australia. I love my brother's coming from Australia for Christmas. I'm very excited. Um, all right, on way to Fennec. On way to Fennec, Alexa! I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna pop in today, but I gotta do some work here first. I'm so excited. But next week, we've got masterclasses. You can go to Trinity London, visit us, and book the masterclasses. Still a few, still a few spots um, at Brent Cross and at, um, and at Bond Street. It's so exciting to say Bond Street. Really great. Um, it's just, I'm just, I'm just having an exciting day today. Um, will Miracle Blur be in Phoenix on the launch date? It should be. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. I will check today. It's a very good point. Uh, it's a very good point. Um, it might be a couple of days late. I don't know. How do you become a Trini Tribe model? Carolyn, what we do is every few months, because well, I want to grow this to 200 women, you know, but every few months we do a call out on Facebook and we say um, we're looking for this type of woman. And generally it's a woman who ha fills in a gap for us. So we might say we're looking for a green eyed, um, caramel skin blonde, you know, because we want there to be, you know, the 68 doesn't cover this, uh, you know, with our matching technology. We know there are 1700 permutations of different skin, hair and eyes for women. And we've got, you know, 68 models up there. Now, some are so incremental, the differences that it doesn't matter, but I wanna grow and grow and grow that set of women. And what you have to know is those are real women with real jobs and, and most of the pictures. We touch up things like if um, maybe we dropped a bit of uh, mascara or something on their thing, but everything else is them, them. Um, uh, have a great day. Thank you so much, darling. Um, what do I think about Medicaid Retinol? I haven't tried it yet. I feel gutted I haven't tried Medicaid because I know it's a great brand and I haven't um, spent the time yet getting it. So I will try that. Retinol's doing some, I'd say yes, but you've got to do very high SPF. Um, how is Miracle Blur different to Clarins Instant Smooth? I think that it's a totally different texture and I feel the results of our product are like nothing else out there. I really think they're like nothing else out there. There's so many good ingredients in it. So, um, yeah. Uh, I know it's ancient, but Anne French cleansing milk is the best makeup move around. Fantastic. Somebody else said to me Vaseline as well the other day. Um, the difference between face finish and Miracle Blur. So face finish is a mattifier. Miracle Blur will really take the lines away and um, temporarily, it's not a long-term product. So which face finish it wouldn't do. Um, da, 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 da. What is the suggestion for guys like me who are gorgeous and stunning in real life but look like Hades once it, on celluloid? I don't know, darling, because I don't know what you, you mean. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'll tell you what guys like in our range. The BFF is fantastic for everybody because it gives you a little bit of a glow, SPF, which we all need, and reduce a bit of redness. The um, Golden Glow is fantastic to give you some color. The concealers are amazing because unlike most concealers, you literally cannot see them on the skin. And if you're the kind of man who doesn't want to be looking like he's wearing makeup, they work a treat. Anna, the lip balm is amazing. I went to Glamour um, offices the other day and there was a wonderful guy there, fantastic. And I put lots of products on him and he looked incredible, even like a little very subtle eye and wisdom and a little stain on the lip. And it was just him, but 
looking even better. He had beautiful skin, so it's very difficult for him to look better. But uh, it was a joy to do. So I think men should never be nervous of makeup. Some men are more uncomfortable to be showing that they wear makeup at all, and others don't mind, or others love it. Um, your spirit animal, thank you. BFF for the body, I know. I use it on the hands, love to do one for the body. I just don't know. We've got to think about it, got to think about it. Uh, myself and my friends are planning to treat ourselves in London to come to a point at Trini London in the new year. Best New Year's blues, fantastic. And can I just also say Christmas gifting, ladies. Um, we have lots of different things, but we've really thought about it. So we've got these lovely duos and trios and Charlotte, our lovely makeup artist, Shasha, has curated specific colors. So if you buy a trio, the trio has got the perfect eye, cheek and lip that goes together. So many of you who get their match to me are looking at all the products you love, but if you buy the trios, you know those are the perfectly matched colors. And so they're fantastic gifts. And we've done the most generically successful ones. So they suit a lot of people. And the duos are just adorable and they start at 35 quid. But we've also done this other thing. And I think if you've got a mum or sister or, you know, just someone who deserves a treat, We've got the gift card, which is lovely, then they choose their own stack. But we've got come and have a makeover and a stack. And I think it's a lovely gift. We have a lot of women here at Trinity London who bring somebody for their birthday present. And it's one of the best presents because they're never gonna forget it. And, and they feel really good and they learn things. Maybe they've been doing the same thing for a long time and they learn new tricks and they leave feeling empowered. So I think there's no better gift to give to a woman than something that's gonna make her feel incredibly empowered. Um, uh, thank you very much, darling. I, what a day is the miracle blur being released? I think Tuesday, but Monday you might be able to pre-order. Um, uh, Angus, darling, that's sweet. No, don't, you won't look made up, Angus, and, and it's so subtle. And the most important thing to remember is just, when you're using Just Touch, you take the tiniest amount, it will last you a year, and really blend it in. If you have dark circles, use BFF a little bit more under here, then put the concealer on top. The bronzer is amazing because it's gel, so you literally just see a bit more color on your face, but no product. So I'm so excited, Angus, tell me how you get on. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna say have a wonderful weekend and tune in on Sunday with Shabir on Facebook Live at about 9.30. And we're gonna be discussing the lymphatic system, what it can do for us, how it works for us, how we abuse it, and how we can make it work its best. So, can't wait. Bye, bye, there we go.